Hello all, Shoestring here. Today we're going to be testing our new lithium batteries with my well. Here's my well. It has two well pumps, which means two motors have to run. This first one right here, it is set up at 115 volts, goes from the well, of course, down in the ground. It, this brings it up and puts it in to our aerator. Hopefully you can see that. Right there. The second motor, get a picture of it for you, right there. Okay. The second motor takes it from the aerator into the house. So the object is to make sure our new lithium batteries can do both motors, both well pumps, as they're running at the same time. Alright, so, well, in the ground of course, motor pulls it up through the pipes into the aerator. The motor will push that into the house. Okay, where of course, where Mrs. Shoestring wants the water. Okay, folks, here's a quick look at the fuse box. That's actually the main fuse box in the house. Right there, you can see where the letters are WP. That's for the water pump. I'll be switching that off when we do our test for the water pumps. This is the next fuse box. It's the fuse box I actually put in for the solar. So the solar connections are here. Water pump, right? I'll make sure that's on. I'll keep them all on when I do this one. So we have our main power from the house and then my solar. This comes on when the power actually goes out. And of course, I'm going to be turning the well pumps off to do the test. But I wanted to show you how it was set up from our main fuse box to this one. And of course, this goes outside underneath the house to where the inverter is. And I'll show you that in just a moment. Okay, so now we're back in the shed where I have my battery box. And from the house where I showed you the, the uh, wiring, we come in here. This is the automatic switch right here. Is a fuse box. Got to have enough fuse boxes to protect everything. Show you the fuse box pretty quick right there. You can see how many amps, how many volts. Okay, here's the automatic switch which is when the power goes off, it automatically switches over. And that all gets wired up into my inverter. Right there, you can see it all wired up. We're gonna go ahead and turn the inverter on because we're gonna do a test. And as we can see, just from the lights here, we are already at 14.5 or 14.6. So we should be just about ready to start our test. So 8,000 watt aims inverter. It is a modified sine wave. And I know it's upside down, but that's the only real way it fits in here. Okay. We have the charge controller right there. Yes, I put this tape around it just to protect it. We're doing this again to folks that are not subscribers and haven't really seen this before. And we can all check the power. 14.4. Okay, that's pretty close. We're at float. It's blinking green. So we are good. It is wired down into the lithium batteries, which we're going to talk about because this is what we're testing. My last video showed you about the installation, how I set it up, but not everyone watches all the videos. So we'll do it again real quick. There are five 100 amp hour fly power lithium batteries. They are deep cycle, of course, and they are all in parallel. 
One, two, three, four, five in parallel. And we're about to test to see if this will actually run the well pumps, both of them, on its own. We're about to begin the test here in just a moment. Okay, we are back at the fuse box. We are about to throw the switch. And here we go. We are now on solar power for the water pumps. And it also does a few other things. Okay, so let's go out and turn the water on and see what happens. All right. We are at 14.3. And the inverter is on, all connected. Here we go. And we should all be set, and we are about to start the test. So the well has come on. We can see it start to drop there. Let's check over here. We are now at 12.4. When the first motor came on and we dropped to 12.4 and we're going to wait a moment for the second motor to come on and see what happens. It's now running. It's probably from the aerator into the house, even though I can't really tell from over here. So we're still waiting for the second one to come on and we'll see what happens. Now this is pretty interesting. This reads... 12.3 volts and just plenty but the inverter over here right there is showing down to about 11 which is quite a discrepancy because if the inverter thinks the voltage is down to under 10 it will turn this off even though we have plenty of voltage according to the chart the uh, charge controller over here. Now that is interesting. It's still blinking green and says we have plenty. Well, let's go down and see what the voltage in the battery says. This is a lithium battery and it has a little button here that you can turn the battery on and it says 13.1. Well, they all want to be different, don't they? Well, we'll just see what happens here in a moment. <coughs> All right, I'll have to find out why they are so different. But the inverter has not turned off yet. It's not even squealing that it's unhappy, which it normally does around 11. And I also want to point out, right up here, it's not showing any load, even though we know there is. So there might be an issue with the uh, inverter. I've had this several years and it's always worked well, but we will see. Still waking, waiting on that second motor. All right, so we're back in the well house. It is the well pump, the motor, that's on right now, I can feel it. And it's taking the water from the aerator into the house. We're still waiting for this second one, pulling it up from the well itself into the aerator to come on. Keep an eye on that. And I'll check back with you when it does. So we are 12.1 volt, according to the charge controller. 73 watts being used and 6.3 amps. 7 amps. 8 amps. Maybe that second one has kicked in. Let's go take a look. Let's check here real fast. We are still right between 11 and 10. And let's go check the well. Okay, the second one has come on. It is causing a little pushback. You can tell. Let's go see what our numbers read. All right, so... We are still at 11. And that says 12. Let's light it here. 
and eased up to six amps again. Five. All right, so test was successful. It will run both, and we'll record our results and take a look at it again in a little bit. All right, it is hitting our, uh, let's see, take a look here. It's jumping back and forth with the inverters not happy, and it looks like that here isn't happy either. So we'll have to take a look at our circuit to see if it's causing the problem. It's at 12.6, and I'm not sure what our inverter is doing here. We're going to have to go take a look and see what all this is about. I suspect it might be the circuit breaker is causing the problem here, even though it should break that circuit, but we will take a look at it and see. So, successful test for the batteries, not so much for the inverter and the circuit breaker. So the motors have come back on. I switched us back to house power. And everything here is looking normally. I think, if you want my opinion, that the batteries passed just fine. And the circuit breaker is what shut everything down. Batteries are good. They did their job, which is what we were really testing. Charge controller is offline. And the inverter is also still offline. Probably just have to be reset. As well as our uh, circuit breaker, which I just shut up. Turn back on. Anyway, this was to test the batteries in the well, and I believe they work just fine. And it has something to do with the uh, circuit breaker. So, that's good to know. Batteries were a success. That's what we wanted. And I'll look at some of these other items to see what I need to do. Okay, if you like these kind of videos, please subscribe and like, and of course, comment, put them down there. If you have opinions on what happened, please put them on out there yourself. And shoestring 